Hi lovelies and welcome to Stephanie's reacts to I'm not okay with this but really I am okay <laughs> but anyway this is I'm not okay season 1 episode 3 the party is over Ooh, the party is over what party would this be? We gotta see a hair. We gotta see a party? And how's the party over? I don't know. I hope, I don't know how I can remember the people's names. I probably remember their names when it starts. I'm trying to think it now, but. Two episodes I've done, and I'm still not with the names because I'll have to get used to the names in it. But anyway, let's jump into this and see what the party's over with and who caused the party to be over with and stuff. Starting now. Netflix. Right. Oh, that's she's in that laughing. Stanley Barber? You fuck Stanley. Stanley. Hi. Peeing at Liam is right there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just processing. <laughs> so, how was it? Honestly, we having sex just, with Stan was really awkward. I tried that last episode, really? I think, didn't I? Really? Something just didn't feel right. <laughs> really, I mean, so good at going down on me. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so you probably lost. I really That's probably lost that virginity. Just want to hang out with Dina and for all this weird shit to stop happening and for everything to go back to normal. 100%. <laughs> That's probably lost that virginity, Tim. I'm worried about Brian. He's in a lot of pain. Dina, he's acting like he's lost a leg. We were supposed to go to Ricky Berry's birthday party tonight, but I don't think he's up for it. Ah, he ain't got to sell with the football, didn't he? Um, yeah, I guess I'm sort of proud of him. Right, cool. Under the table or something. What? Are you, are you okay? What happened? It's banana. I, I think he's. Oh, oh my. Me. Banana was in like hedgehog years. Ancient. Super old man. Mm hmm. Like 94. Banana was only 12 in hedgehog years. I murdered a tween. Really? Uh-huh. Definitely. I like it. We keep them good. Too sad. Uh, banana. You were very cute. So much fun. But Hedgehog <laughs> didn't do shit. We both love you. You think that um, Banana is with Dad now? No. Yeah. Go ahead, Hedgehog, Kevin. That's I could care of. I wish I was there for you at the end. Uh -huh. Had we known that you needed help, we would have given it to you. It's just as fair. Is she talking about the hedgehog or is she talking about dad, baby? can do about it. Uh, dad, then? We both missed you so much. Everything's so different without you around. Wow. Touching the feeling, but but oh of father, she's seen a easier. Seen a bit of the hedgehog. Oh, baby. You had sex for the very first time last night, and that wasn't even on my radar. It still blows my mind. Ah, see? How long have I known you? And you seriously never talk about boys. Oh, well, now I have. Anything <laughs> else hmm. earth shattering you want to tell me? Do you hear about your powers? There might be something wrong with me. What do you mean? I just feel different lately. Oh. I felt 
felt super awkward. Like everyone would look at me. Uh. But you know what? The only one looking at me was Dina. I'll be right back, I thought. See? And you left her. If you said you wouldn't leave her. Famous last words. Happened to me many times, so... Was it her leaving now? No, she's playing basketball? Was it Stan? It's her. Well, they're standing there. That was impeccable. So, what's your, what's she doing out here? Just mountains of cocaine. Oh, you do realize that the entire cheerleading squad are actually doing lines of cocaine in the upstairs bathroom? Oh my god, is, is that why they have so much energy? Oh, totally. totally. <laughs> yeah. Don't touch cocaine, it's bad for you. Ooh! Thunderstorms! Okay, so I have, I have a question for you, and there's like absolutely no pressure or anything. Okay. Would you ask, would you have okay. sex with me uh, again? Would you... You were dancing with Sydney? Can he ask me for his jacket? But an off roll. Well, on the bright side, at least you won't have to wear that hideous jacket ever again. <laughs> she likes the jacket. You haven't fancy his dinner, didn't you? Hi. Wow. Uh, so we're just drunk. Oh yeah. Sure. I, I didn't mean. No, she's not drunk. She's not had any drinks oh. ever. Just the swag she had. It's just not. Maybe a glass. <laughs> no, but... no, totally. It's fine. It's fine, really. I'm just. I got it. I, I, uh, I'm getting a, a ride home from Stan. So. Uh, um, wait, Sid. Oh. Wow. <laughs> She's getting something stupid, isn't she? She's getting angry. Oh! Wow! Oh! oh my God! Watch something! You get yourself killed there. Reckless running or a reckless driver? Whoever that is. Oh my God! Well lovelies, that was episode 3, the party is over, hmm, what did you think of this?
I was thinking of you that much. I don't think I was reacting much, but I did say a few things. I reacted a few things, but I don't think I did much. I think I was just like sort of watching it. I was trying to get into it. But wow. Dina? No, no, Dina. Sydney, I think it is. I Sydney. Or Sid, whatever you want to call her. Fancies Dina. Ooh, nice. But. Sid told Dina she's going to be Stan. But and we know Dina is going out with Brad Dushface Dickhead. Well, Dushface Dickhead, what I'm going to call him. But anyway, if you saw Sid go up, when she, was, she went up to kiss Dina by mistake. I don't know if, I don't know if it was by mistake or not. The kiss. Because you seen her getting closer and closer and closer for the kiss. But then Dina says to her, we're just only drunk, aren't we? Sydney done, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But Sydney was not drunk. She only had a couple of swags, or a glass or two, just. Nothing to make her drunk. And Brad just faced the kid. Fell out with Dina and asked for his jacket back. Only, as you my theory, only because she wouldn't leave Sid, Sydney, when she was dancing with him. Because when he wanted to sit down and be alone with her, she said, no, I'm dancing with Sydney. Coast there, my pals there. You wouldn't leave you. She told Sydney, I, would not, I won't leave you. And after Brad, just with Dickie, he'd left, she did leave him. And that's when Brad probably fell out with her. And why he asked for a jacket back. And... I don't think I've said it about that on, his, on this episode, on this program or not. But if you know, if you watch my other reactions, you know, I don't do things in chronic order. I don't do from start, middle, end, or end, middle, start. I go from end, start, middle, middle, end, start, or whatever. Any the way, I go to end, jump ends in a day. If you know my reactions. Oh yeah, if you're wondering like, you missed all this, you missed all this, I'll get to them, I will. So I'm getting to one of them in the but I'm just letting you know if you've never seen my reactions before. The very start, we saw Sydney and Dina talking and that, and she's saying, is, said, she says to Dina, Stan went down on that big time, and that was good kind of thing. Oh, and a wee brother heard a wee bit. Never heard much. He never. But in the cafe, or the restaurant, but I'm getting a cafe. Dina didn't have to pay for a meal. But Sydney did. But Sydney's mum says to Sydney, I like her better than I like you. She's. She's plighter than you are. Like, come on now. Who would say that about their own child, their own daughter, or their own son? I don't like you, I like them better than you. Come on, that's out of... Ooh, it's ridiculous. It's like one of yous or that, having a friend over. And your pal says, thank you, Mrs. So -so, whatever your mum is. Then your mum played to them, and you're saying, Mum, you were... Why did you not say stuff get to me? We hate to them for. And your mum says, Because I like them better than I like you. Look how does that? Wow. You would expect Sydney to go in a wee huff, or whatever, and they, I love, and I love you too, Mum, bye. Oh, but she never, she's done. She's done what my mum told her, to take... Leon, Liam, Liam, I think the wee boy is. Take him home. And that's where they ran into his bully, or bullies. Well, ah, they ran into bully or bullies. Because he wanted to go the long way around the rail track. And said he done, 
No to what? How? It's a long way. Then. And she said, is that a boy who, who's going to bully you? I think last episode, he says his pal's done now. Uh, he's finished, the bully's finished with his pal, so he'll probably be next. So Sydney went up to the wee boy, shouting at him and all that, and told him to leave the wee boy alone, to leave his brother alone. He done, yeah, sure. But then, as soon as Sydney walked away, the wee boy insulted her. Mm. Burn! But then Sydney, if I can make somebody just nosebleed, but yeah, I can use it for goodness. So she tried to make the wee boy's nosebleed. Oh. You gotta make the wee boy's nosebleed. Pop him, man. Give him a black eye or oh, bust his nose on Then if his mum comes to you who's complaining, just say, he's bullying your, your wee brother. Well, that will just say you never done it and have your wee brother back you up. You can. But a power's in the work, so she walked away and done that. Two finger salute. Well, what, the finger salute one, but she used the two finger but Two finger salute then. Oh, hope she's never made it. Hope she never made it worse for the for, for him. Oh, that bad if she has made it worse for him because of this. And she's good to be boy, some like threat kind of things. You're older, you won't get this, you won't do this, you won't do this. And you won't have have a dog and stuff. I did expect to be boy to wash it green and run away. As if she was throwing all these things at him. But no, he never. You just don't, you're a freak. <laughs> oh. But how is this episode called The Party's Over? Maybe the party was over because where Sid kissed Dina. Maybe that ended her party. Maybe the party was over because Brad broke up with Dina. But after she kissed Dina, like I says, earlier on, she stormed at the house. And about to go. He about to go home or that. And he heard her, like in her mind. And he heard the be music in with all sounds when she has powers. And she was like, <coughs> Oh, wow. She went, Wow. And all the trees exploded. Whoa. Wow. That's supernova stuff. It is. Exploding trees. It's like aftershocks or something. Like, or supersonic things where things vibrate over and destroy things. I don't know if that's telekinesis she's got then. Or is that more than telekinesis? Because even like her house, you seen her like bedroom, she was making things float and down in the basement where she was getting a board game for her wee brother. You seen her like looking for a board game then you see a thing about a dad and stuff. And why did he not write a note to her? The next minute, the, the music came again. The next minute, it's like I thought it was an earthquake. She things were rumbling. And then you heard a wee brother scream. Hey, she killed the hedgehog. I wonder how she killed him. Did she give the hedgehog like a wee heart attack or something? Or maybe the rumbling in the house? Set a wee shock through and it hurt the hedgehog's heart and killed it that way. Or maybe exploded the brains. But then she was, as soon as we were burying it, she was getting like a heart warm felt to the, the hedgehog. But then she started thinking about her father and she's done like a more, uh, more job for that, for the hedgehog, but she was meaning it for her father and stuff. Mm. No, I feel sorry for her. I don't know how, I don't know. I don't know what age she is, I don't know if she's 16 or 17 or maybe 15. But with powers like these, does she not have them grown up? Like maybe 6 year old, 7 year old, or 8 year old or something have these powers? Why did the powers come now? Or maybe because her father's dead or something? But. 
If your father's got powers and they could be passed on to you, you'd think you'd have them when you were a child, no when you're a teenager or that. So that counts her father out. So, how does she get her powers then if it wasn't for my father? I hope this season's only got seven episodes. This is the third one, so we've got four episodes left. Hope they tell us how she got her powers. Hope they do. In the next couple of episodes, so. Yeah, everyone. The next episode. Really? Stand by me. It's like the 80s film, Stand by me. Stand by me. That's a brilliant film. If you've not seen it, check it out. But, the next hill, Stand by me. Oh, copy the film, but taking the letter D after Stand. Stand. And we get Stan. Because your character's in it called Stan, so. Eee. So I'm guessing the next episode will probably be about him. Stand by me. So everyone, all lovelies out there, thank you for watching us. I know this is a new program. You said might not even seen it. Also, you might be watching it with me. If you say, hit the like button, comment down below. And have a good day, good night, good week, good weekend, lovelies. Look after yourselves. And I'll see you then. The next one. Bye, everyone.